Okay, hello everyone. My name is Bama Tabere and this is my senior project and it's called Bad Habit, The Making of a Song. So, how I started. I started singing at five years old. I joined theater and choir clubs, joined singing competitions. My dad was a guitarist and was a member of multiple bands and my mom was a choir member. As you can see, my musical influence started at a very young age and my parents actually put me through piano lessons when I was around eight years old from what I remember. The picture on the top right was actually my first singing competition and <laughs> unfortunately I lost. And the second picture was when I was in an award-winning children's choir that was formed at my elementary school I think it was around 2006 and we won that competition first place that day. My relationship with music. In middle school, I learned my first song on the acoustic guitar. It was called I'm Yours by Jason Mraz. And I remember just hiding the fact that I was learning and teaching myself how to play the guitar. And I played this song to my family and friends and they were so shocked that I knew how to play the guitar because I've been keeping it a secret for like a couple months. I took a guitar class. I joined the high school choir as a middle schooler. I had a mentor and I wrote my first song at 12 years old. In high school I joined a church choir and I was actually the drummer with no drumming lessons. I just decided I want to be a drummer and somehow it worked. I joined another band as a guitarist and a singer. I did concerts for charities, Christmas parties, birthday parties, and other events and social gatherings. And then I started producing at 17 through the software or the DAW garage band. So through the years, I've been producing, covering, and these are three of the sample songs that I have throughout the months of practice. And this is called September Song. Our love as strong as a lion, soft as the cotton you lie. Times we get hot like a nine, you and I. Our hearts have never been broken. We were so innocent. That's a few seconds of that. There's Lost in Japan by Shawn Mendes. Get you off my mind. Hey, get you off my mind. Do you got plans tonight, baby? I was hoping I could get lost in your paradise. The only thing I'm thinking about is you and I. I can't get you up. So both of these songs are actually just the acoustic guitars and some background vocals. And this is the cover where I kind of went ham on it. <laughs> Spending all my nights alone, waiting for you to call me. You're the only one I want by my side when I fall asleep. Tell me what I'm waiting for. Tell me what I'm waiting for. I know it's hard, but we need each other. No, it's hard, but we need each other. I move mountains on my own, don't need nobody help. Change your mind when it's And that's called Sugar by Brockhampton. So, transitioning from high school, I really had to think about what college I wanted to go to, and Bowie State University just was the right fit for me. And my parents were very, very influential with me choosing my major because they wanted me to do nursing. And at the time, before I really knew what I wanted to do, I was deciding on so many different things and I decided that they're my parents, right? They know what's best for me. So I just chose nursing. I was a nursing major my first semester here at Bowie State. And in the middle of that, I knew that I just didn't belong there is what I felt. Deep down, I knew that I wanted to do something with music. I just, my heart was for music. So. I, I talked to my guidance counselors, I talked to many people actually on this, and I finished all the paperwork that I needed to finish, and my second semester of my freshman year, 
I was then a fine arts major concentrating in mu music technology. The very influential classes that I took at Bowie State was definitely music theory, business of music, multimedia recording and production, and electronic composition and arranging. As a musician, for me, the reason why I really loved these classes was because personally, I'm very, I'm a very detailed person. Like, I need to know and learn every bit of everything. So music theory helped me out with chord progressions, major and minor scales. It's actually what helped me with composition and arranging as well. With the business of music, I wanted to know the ins and outs of the industry and copywriting and a distribution site. Multimedia recording and production is honestly one of the best classes I've ever taken at Bowie State. It really ignited the fire in me to keep producing and to learn more about the production side of making music and the cables and the connections of the mic to the interface to the keyboards to the guitars. It was just an amazing experience. With electronic composition and arranging, this is where I put my uh, knowledge of music theory to the test because it was all about trying to find how to change up a song into something different, something new. And it was just a great time in all of these classes, actually. These are the classes that really, really helped out a lot. My knowledge with music and also the industry, as that is important as well. Software used in Bowie State are Sibelius, GarageBand, Reason, Logic Pro X, and Pro Tools. I really, really love this collection of softwares and DAWs because before coming to Bowie State, I only really worked with GarageBand and Logic Pro, but coming in and diving into other software like Sibelius and Reason and Pro Tools. It just shows just how different DAWs have their own unique capabilities. Now we're going to my song, Bad Habit. The song is part of a 10-track album I'm working on, and it's called The Bad Habit Album. It is about falling in love with the wrong person and trying to move on without closure hands bad habit it's a song that i wrote not relating to a situation i have in particular but i simply put myself in a situation of another person and i do this all the time mostly because sometimes it gets really exhausting just milking out like every experience that i have into a song it's fun for me to go different ways to just write songs. The song's production is something I am really proud of. I worked on this song for around five months and the album will be out sometime between now and the end of 2021. I'm super excited to release it. Logic Pro X. Logic Pro is a digital audio workstation, a dot that I've been saying for the past three slides, I believe, for the Mac OS platform, which is an Apple product. It is, it is used to create songs through various sounds, instruments, and plugins. It has a similar function with Reason, Fruity Loops, Pro Tools, Studio One, and more. Reasons I chose this DAW. It was the most practical transition from GarageBand. I already had a Mac that I could work with, so it was really just the practicality of the transition. It was affordable for me at the time, and I absolutely love it. Logic Pro Sounds. So Logic Pro has a sound library that has a massive collection of plugins and sounds worth of 70 gigabytes of space. It contains recreations of vintage equipment, powerful modern synthesizers, and complex multi-sampled instruments, such as the EXS24 sampler, Alchemy Sample Synthesizer, The Drum Machine, Studio Strings, and many, many more. It contains effects as well, like the amp pedal equalizers, bass amp designers, reverb, delay, all that good stuff. 
Okay, so now we're gonna go to the foundation of bad habit, the main chord instruments. So logic has the basic foundational instruments such as the piano, guitar, bass, and more that have not been manipulated to create a newer sound. So what I mean by that is, okay, so for example, this is a sound from the sound library. And it goes as basic as just this grand piano here, which sounds like Yamaha grand piano. Very, very cool. Not manipulated at all whatsoever. It sounds like a piano. And it also has manipulated sounds. So, for example, a, th a synthesizer or a pad, which sounds like very interesting, very, very airy. Like, that's not a, a real instrument. It's been manipulated to create a newer sound. So cloud diving from Alchemy Library is a manipulated pad instrument to sound futuristic. We're gonna go to cloud diving. And this is a chord progression that I made for this pad. And it sounds like this. Sounds pretty cool, right? Sounds very... Sounds very futuristic, you know, very interesting. And I have another chord instrument here called the FM Piano from the ES2 Sampler. And it's also a piano manipulated to sound vintage. So here's FM Piano. This is the ES2 Sampler. And this is where all the manipulation happens for the sound. And it sounds like this. Very, very vintage, very, a little more like 80s, 70s vibe of a piano. They sound like this. Very cool. Okay, moving on, the plugins used. So for the car diving pad, I added reverb to make it sound larger and wider and gain to make it a little louder than it actually is. But let me show you. Cloud diving. Let's put this in a loop. So basically a loop just repeats the highlighted section over and over and over, hence a loop. And it sounds like this. Without the reverb, this is the reverb from the Space Designer, which is a built-in reverb plugin in Logic, which is really, really handy. Got it. It's just wider and larger. This is better listen to with headphones. Uh, I just recommend it. <laughs> And for the FM piano, I added chorus, tremolo, delay to add effect, and reverb to make it sound larger and wider again. So here we are. Let's take these off to see how it sounds like. Oops. Together, it just, it's just good to to it. So there we have it. Yeah. Rhythmic instruments. Samples are put through on Ultrabeat, uh, Ultrabeat Sampler, which is a built-in sampler in Logic. And I used a total of seven drum samples that include kick, two snares, snaps, closed hats, open hats, and a lo-fi clap. So going through here, you can see this section is all of that. Those are the samples that I used for 
this rhythm or this beat in the song. So they sound like this together. This is the Ultra Beat Sampler. So basically, I just take a sample of a kick or a snare or any instrument and I just put it through here. So it goes the same for all of these. So it's a lot of kick. Mm. Okay. This is the kick. And here comes the snare. And another snare. The snare. Uh, here's the close hat. I'm very proud of this beat, especially going with the chords. They sound like this. Other instruments and sounds I use are the muted bass for an extra kick on the lower frequencies and liquid dreams from the ES2 sampler for melodic edition. So let's look at these two instruments here. Liquid dreams sounds like this and again it comes from the ES2 sampler I added a little flanger delay and limiter here for the instrument and for the muted bass is this is how it sounds like you know like a normal bass but it's muted just to add that extra kick in the lower frequencies. Vocal, melody, and harmony. So I added multiple voices to add depth to this whole song. They're panned in different directions to make them sound wider and larger. And I added reverb, delay, compressor, and equalizer just to tidy things up in that particular area. So let me give you a little example. So these are all my background vocals and they are, uh, as you can see, this is where the panning happens. So these two are panned to the right, these two are panned to the left, and this is what they sound like. That's what they sound like. And I added a lot of uh, plugins here because they were my background vocals and I wanted them to pop off a little more. Just so it, and I also pad them, panned them in different directions so that my main vocal can just stay in the middle and be the focus of everything. Okay, so before we get to our last slide, which is my concluding slide, let me just show you a bit of everything a bit of the song you keep me sane with your company ashes on the floor from your okay there we go so that is my song bad habit moving forward my goals my goal is to release two songs as singles before releasing the Bad Habit album to build a fan base through social media such as Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok, and YouTube, to book gigs and shows, to work with artists with the same goals as mine, uh, having a name in the music industry, of course, to sign to a label, eventually move to either New York or California, and my biggest goal of all is a world tour. Finally, I would like to end this presentation with saying thanks, having a little gratitude towards Dr. Pryor, Dr. Smith, Professor Cannon, and all of the professors who have walked me through, guided me, supported me through all four years of my college career and also my music career. 
Um, I wouldn't be here without your help and your guidance. And I truly, truly appreciate it. And I'll see you at the top. Bye.